What is going on guys? So today we are going to be taking a look at Elisa in her Cygna suit with Rotom, which is expected to come out relatively soon. So let's get into this. Now, of course, uh, as usual with these videos, this is more of a speculation because these things can change before they actually go live. Just because things are in the data doesn't necessarily mean that they can't change. We have seen it in the past. So just want to kind of uh, preface all of this information with once Elisa drops, which whenever that is, we possibly could end up seeing slight variations from what I'm going to go over in this video. But until then, I'm going to go with what I've got here. So of course, Elisa and Rotom are coming to Pokemon Masters. Now, I um, I just recently got Elisa, so it's still kind of fresh to me, and then now they're gonna drop this one on us, and I just have another Elisa to chase now. This time with Elisa, though, we are going to be a support role that is electric type, weak to dark type. Very interesting because Rotom's unique little uh, typing there, we do actually gain a dark typeness instead of just going with the standard ground being, you know, super effective up against our electric type. So that's actually kind of cool. Now, as far as stats go, at level 120, it looks like we're going to be rocking an HP of 479, an attack of 99, a defense of 261, special attack 204, special defense 261, and a speed of 280. So right off the bat, those don't really look like uh, support numbers to me. So the HP is pretty decent as far as, you know, um, uh, I guess the support role goes. So I have a video coming out in the upcoming days. It's taking me a while to edit it, but it's basically about all of the evolutions that we're getting and kind of like the winners and losers of that. And um, it's crazy because the top HP stat in the game after all of these new evolutions come out will be 808. So comparing our HP to that is okay. Um, I mean, it's a little better than average. Um, eh, I mean, it's, it's okay. Attack is pretty abysmal. Defense is actually pretty good. Special defense is right in line. Uh, special attack though actually looks pretty interesting. A 204 on special attack on a support type is quite cool. And then speed at 280 is also decent. Um, highest speed I think is gonna be, I, I know it's over 400, I can't remember how far over 400, but uh, speed at 280 is pretty okay. Nothing really wrong there. Now when it comes to our moves, uh, the first move that we are gonna be able to utilize here is Thundershock, a one bar move doing 20 base power at 100 accuracy, which is fine. Uh, has a very small chance to paralyze the target, which is okay. X special attack all is actually pretty cool to see here. That does mean that we can sharply raise the special attack on all of our allies and ourselves included, of course, which is always going to be welcomed. Uh, breathtaking is our signature trainer move. Very, very interesting here. So it's going to reduce the sync move countdown of any ally by two and then raise their accuracy and crit rate. Holy moly, that's actually really cool. So let's go over this again. The sync move countdown, normally it takes nine turns to get to a sync move. That number is gonna be reduced by two, meaning that it's going to effectively take seven moves or seven turns to get to a sync move. Oh, that's so cool, that's so cool. So uh, interestingly though, if you wait until after you've already used a sync move and you get that little like sync move, like bonus, like to your stats, after you use a sync move, it puts that little symbol next to your stats. You get a little increase of like all your stats whenever you use sync moves. If you've already used that and have that sync move addition, it's actually going to sharply raise your accuracy and crit rate instead of just regular raising them. So very, very interesting. If you can hold on and just wait to use that sync move without the countdown reduction, you then get a countdown reduction towards your second sync move in the game, plus a sharply raised accuracy and crit rate on any sync pair on your side of the field. Holy moly, that's so good. 
Uh, next we do have Thunder, which is going to be uh, hitting actually pretty hard for a support type here. Only 70 accuracy, but that can actually be mitigated if you want to pair Elisa with uh, some rain from like Winona. Uh, three bars at 124 base power is actually pretty solid altogether. Not really uh, too much gripe there. High Fashion Thunderbolt is uh, our sync move. Pretty standard, 250 base power, and it's a special attack. No additional effect, so yeah. Two uh, passives that we actually have here. Look Alive 9, which is actually going to increase our evasiveness when we get hit by an attack. Okay. And then we have Fast Runner, which then, in turn, keeps our evasiveness from being lowered. That's actually kind of cool. So if you can keep Elisa healthy enough to take a few hits so that we gain some evasiveness, that evasiveness won't go away. We can't have that lowered. That's actually going to be kind of interesting because the longer that you can have Elisa and Rotom last throughout a match, the more and more efficient they're going to be at evading attacks, which is kind of interesting. Uh, next we're going to talk about damage output and oddly enough, uh, I've already talked about it a couple of times. Being a support, I usually don't really have a whole lot to say in terms of damage output, but I do think this one's a little different. I think we could actually be able to do a little bit of damage here. Having access to Thunder makes us slightly liable uh, with our accuracy kind of being uh, not the greatest. Uh, and it does open up some possibilities for missing, but it also does open up the possibilities to do some serious damage. Like I have mentioned, uh, having access to rainy weather, of course, will be the best way to mitigate any kind of uh, reduction in your accuracy. It'll make Thunder a guaranteed hit, pretty much. Uh, but we do, we'll get into that uh, in a sec, okay? Promise. As far as utility goes, in the support role, I really expect us to be able to uphold our team and keep them flowing in a straightforward path towards victory. Although, with Elisa, I don't really think that we should be considered a support role sometimes. Hear me out though. So I think that if we have a way to boost, that's good. If we have a way to do some small damage, that's good. But with Elisa, it really feels like we're on the border of like a tech role with a support role. So we've got a way to boost, which is of course good. We've got rather good damage capabilities, which is good. And then we do have a way to actually accelerate sync moves. And that's just so new and so just fresh of an idea right now that it just almost doesn't feel like we should be a support role. But I totally understand why they classify this as a support role. Um, it's, it's less disruptive, more supportive. So I, I get it. It's just kind of weird since this is the first one that we're seeing. Anyways, so in solo, without comparing Elisa to the other supports here, we're actually in a, uh, a decent position. We've got some decent special attack buffs with a great new idea of reducing the sync move counter down by two. Uh, this works well in solo to just keep up with the mega evolution on our team and just kind of let them get to their max potential that much faster. Now in co-op, depending on how nice other players are and how well you can coordinate this, you could do some really cool, interesting interactions here. So imagine being just shy of getting the last Pokemon to faint on the uh, opponent's side of the field in an EX challenge even. You bust out Rotom and you end up, you know, using breathtaking to get to a sync move right before they're able to get to theirs and you end up finishing the battle. That's just really, really cool. Or imagine jumping into a co-op match with two different Rotoms and reducing one sync pair sync move by like four. Like imagine having four turns just wiped out of your sync move countdown. Like, oh, oh, that's gonna be so interesting. This is gonna be so cool. Now, as far as future proofing, remember uh, that a little while ago we talked about Professor Kakui and being on the cutting edge of a new mechanic. We kind of also fall into that trick here. So, just like with Quick Move, Elisa and Rotom are the first sync pair that we do have access to with this new mechanic of lowering the sync move. Um, this is amazing and very well could mean that we stay relevant for a very long, long time. Uh, or this could be the beginning of this mechanic and it get expanded upon rather soon. I do fall on the side where this mechanic will get uh, refined and improved upon, but you know, it just kind of depends on what they end up doing with this mechanic. I really do hope they expand it and give more and more power, maybe more and more conditions like if um, 
If you've already used a sync move, reduce the sync move countdown by three or something like that. Like I hope they do add to this kind of stuff, which uh, will help further give some uniqueness to other sync pairs, but also give us more options and not easily power crept in terms of the whole mechanic. But um, as far as future proofing goes, I think Elisa and uh, Rotom are gonna be relevant for a decent amount of time, not forever. Now as far as team ideas, so this is kind of going where we go into the rain kind of thing. First and foremost, the team that I would like to utilize the most is going to be Blue and Winona. So Blue gets a quicker route to getting to its Mega Evolution while Winona provides the rain to keep Mega Pidgeot and Rotom in check with their accuracy. Outside of that though, um, I could actually see us going for basically any special attack oriented team. Elisa can help boost uh, basically special attack and the sync move countdown while having a special striker deal massive amounts of damage and then maybe Rosa and Superior to help get some bar back. Something along those lines would actually be kind of cool. So as a final verdict, uh, I would say color me impressed. I uh, actually really like the idea of this sync pair. My biggest gripe is going to be the way that we do need some help with some accuracy sometimes, but depending on how you can help to manage that, whether it's with the rain from Monona or whether it's with a buff from another sync pair, um, that's going to be okay. I love to see the emerging new mechanic here, and I'm really excited to be able to use Elisa and Rotom. And as far as putting them on a tier list, <sighs> so as much as I've praised it, I think I want to go a little bit more conservative here, and I want to say we're going to stick them in the B tier for now. So this may come as a surprise to how much I have praised them, but given like basically everything that they're really good at, they are going to have they're basically going to be stuck in check with the accuracy and the single use of that sync move countdown. Breathtaking as a signature trainer move is only able to be used once. It's not a two time use. So the problem with that is that it's kind of interesting and possibly is going to hinder Elisa and Rotom more than it's going to help them. Um, in the long game. So I really do feel like it's kind of okay to put them in the B tier if you really, really, like, really favored them and put them in a really good position on a team. Maybe you could consider them higher than that, maybe A tier, um, but it really just depends on what team you pair them with because on their own, they're decent, but whenever they're surrounded by a supporting team, that's when they really buff up themselves. But what do you think? I would love to know what you guys think of Elisa and Rotom. Are you excited to see the sync pair? Are you excited to scout for it? Because I'm pretty sure it's going to be a uh, banner, which means it's going to take me forever to get. But either way, uh, speaking of a banner, let's actually go ahead and jump into a quick sync pair scout here. So we're just going to keep trucking on this uh, freaking Steven banner. <sighs> I'm, I'm desperately, desperately trying to get Steven before Red comes out because, oh my gosh, this is gonna be insane to try to get both of these. Okay, so on the count of three. One, two, three. So no flash animation. I'd love to get trolled if possible. Come on. Just a three star antenna, doesn't look too good. What kind of doors do we get? Do we get good doors? Just three star doors, okay. So that's a Bugsy with a bee drill. But that is actually gonna be it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you so much for watching. As always, remember that if you wanna join the Discord, it's actually linked down in the description below. Also down there are links to YouTube memberships and Patreon if those are your thing. But otherwise, I'm gonna go ahead and head out, but I will catch you in the next video.